I know a lot of you are just like me and we uh, binge watch finance, retire early, retirement videos. Today, when I was um, you know, in that uh, zone, I really stopped and thought about the different categories that these videos are in. Some explain the rules like how Social Security works, Roth conversions, RMDs, required minimum distributions, asset location, how brokerage uh, you know, accounts are taxed, Roth, all that kind of stuff. Others uh, are expert strategies for asset location, when to take Social Security, uh, the 4% rule, 60-40 diversica diversification and rebalance, um, you know, how many, how much uh, international funds you should have, small cap, large cap, all these expert strategies uh, by, you know, certified financial planners, great stuff. Others are reaction to um, media articles, books. Dave Ramsey says you can uh, take out 8% of your portfolio a year or Kathy Orman says you need $8 million <laughs> and people react to that. We also, others are in the category of reacting to world events like the Fed makes uh, rate changes or there's a war, there's election, there's a natural uh, event uh, like uh, COVID. You know, and then there's others, uh, and this is a category I fall in with this channel is I'm just telling my story, my firsthand experience. I don't claim to be an expert uh, in retirement strategies, but it's how I absorb those uh, concepts and des the decisions I make, the thoughts I'm having, the reasoning, and the emotion that I'm going through on my retirement journey. So those are the categories I came up with. What I find fascinating, and actually the word proper word is frustrating, <laughs> is our search for the perfect system a system with perfect rules, very simple rules, the retiree can follow for their entire 30-year retirement life. We want that perfect system. For example, the 4% rule, 50-50 allocation of uh, al equities and bonds and uh, increase your uh, withdrawal by inflation every year, you can last 30 years. 4% rule with guard, guardrails to manage up and down markets. 60-40 and rebalance. Don't worry about anything. Just bank your portfolio 60-40, rebalance annually, and there you go. The three fund portfolio. VTI and chill. Ray Dalio's all weather portfolio. Comprehensive software results. Uh, you know, detailing, you know, you detail your spending uh, with a financial advisor or you, you know, you get a, package yourself, you know, put in your rates of return, inflation, you do Monte Carlo simulation and you got this perfect system. You know, I, I use that process, a comprehensive software package, but I also use three buckets. I get asked all the time about the rules for moving money from bucket three to two to one, three to one, or one to three, one to two. I get asked for these hypotheticals all the time. How are you going to handle this situation? How are you going to handle it? And, you know, the reality is life happens. You know, you have health issues, you have loss of job, loss of your side hustle. Your side hustle is three times more profitable than you thought it was going to be. Uh, your kids need help. Life stuff. And so these, these rigid rules and systems, they are practical, in my opinion. This is, again, this is Joe Spenton here. Everyone is different. We have different expenses, different savings, different pensions. Uh, you know, so when you see comments, you may be talking, inter, uh, interacting with somebody that has a large pension and large Social Security, and, and they can't relate to somebody that doesn't have that pension and has a small Social Security. Um, so I just find it fascinating that we want these um, hard and fast rules and the comment section of my videos is filled with, hey, I've got this situation, how would you handle it? I've got this situation, how would you handle it? And my question is, why can't I just put in place um, a system that adapts to situations as they come? So 
structure my assets where I can handle anything and I don't need to know exactly how I'm going to adjust to something five years from now, 10 years from now. I'll go into a couple examples. I've got bucket one and bucket two. I, you've, if you've listened to my videos, uh, I've got 10 years that's out of equities in bonds, in CDs, things like that, money market funds. And they're getting decent returns right now, over 5%. And I got bucket three, like I said, for equities. Why do I need these rules? Hey, the market's down 25%. What are you going to do, Joe? What are you going to do? How are you going to move? How much are you going to move? When are you going to decide to move from that bucket three into bucket two? Also, and this just happened, and I was not expecting this, you know, bonds went from paying about half a percent to 1% to 6%. You know, why can't I adjust my thinking based on the new reality? If stocks go up 30%, what are you going to do, Joe? I was just in a previous video. Um, reality laughs at your plans. Like I said, unknown expenses, returns, inflation, health, go-go spending, actuals, all that stuff is all over the place. What I believe your retirement plan needs to have is options. One word, options. Keep your options open. Cash, CDs, money market funds, I-bonds, CDs, bonds, and I got CDs twice, sorry, and equities. <clears throat> I have money parked in a savings account, brokerage account, and traditional IRA, and Roth IRA, um, also CDs, I-bonds. I got money spread out to keep my options open. Here's an analogy for you. I kind of like this one, you know, so uh, it can be a lot like chess. In the, the game of chess, you keep your options on, open and you don't get, you protect yourself by, from getting in check. You do not want to get in check. So a primary thing you're trying to do is be defensive, don't get in check, but you do need to attack. You don't just need to play defense all the time. You need to play offense. And that attacking is getting returns. So in check, you're playing defense, staying out of check. Also, you're attacking, trying to win. It's great to study and practice different situations. You know, the questions, you know, and binge watching YouTube videos. Rec but you need to recognize reality is going to be different. So don't get frustrated when somebody like me can't ask, answer the question. If you give me 10 different scenarios, I can't tell you exactly what I'm going to do with a hard set group of rules that I need to follow. That's not what I'm trying to do. A little bit of what I'm doing is defense and a little bit of offense. Okay, a little bit of offense trying to get returns, defense protecting my king from getting in check. But, you know, when you're playing chess, you don't have hard rules for the whole game that, and, and every game you play in the future saying, I'm going to follow these 10 rules playing chess, you know, it'll never work out. Uh, perhaps I just revealed why I'm bad at chess. Maybe there's some chess players that do this, you know, they have 10 rules and they follow 10 rules, but that's not how I play. My message today is reality is gonna laugh at your plans. Stop taking the big gamble. Balance safety with returns, just like chess. Example of this may be, you know, buckets or playing 60-40. Keep your options open with asset location. You can pull from cash during down markets, pull from bonds when bonds are high and, and equities may be low. You may have to pull from cash when Bonds and equities are low, and you pull from the right account uh, to manage your taxes as well. Stress test your plans, you know, with inflation, returns, longevity, Monte Carlo simulation. Open your plans up to others for stress testing. Don't go it alone. You don't know the gaps that you got in your plan. Others can easily see it. You've you heard me talk about that before. Replace your Excel spreadsheets with systems like a low-cost software package. You know what to do if you want help in both those areas. Keep educating yourself. That's my fourth point. Keep educating yourself. Knowing the situation 
uh, knowing different situations can arise and how you could react to them keeps you from making emotional decisions. You know, for example, the, the market drop in 2022, 2020, uh, 2008, 9, 7, 8, 9. Uh, the dot-com in the early 2000s. So educate yourself, know how long a bear market and the recovery can last. So those are my four messages to you. Repeating, stop taking the big gambles, keep your options open with asset location, stress test your plan, and keep educating yourself. There's no perfect plan out there, no perfect strategy with perfect rules. It doesn't exist. It's okay to entertain those hypotheticals, but recognize reality is gonna be completely different than your plan. You need options. Play retirement like I play chess. It's Joe out.